I'm addicted to Pokemon. Naive is to think I could control it and I could limit it, I could manage it, and it was managing me. Yesterday, there was an intervention in my life where I discovered that the people around me had been telling me and I'd been ignoring that I'm a Pokemon addict. I'm addicted in the way I once was addicted to alcohol or to cigarettes or to coffee many, many years ago, decades ago. However, uh, Pokemon grabbed me and I got swallowed up by a Pokeball. And I, I was doing this game and Grace Ann was noticing it, my wife, and my therapist was noticing it too because Grace Ann was telling him, he's doing Pokemon from 6 a.m. in the morning till 11 at night, you know? And I'd be managing the Pokemon. But initially it was quite innocent, my story. You know, I'm in stage four cancer and I need to, to work outside and exercise and walk and run and Pokemon was a perfect game for getting out into nature well if you consider sidewalks in Houston or Las Cruces nature and bike riding the streets of Las Cruces I was going to unicycle in Houston but I never could get the unicycle to work uh, the way it kept bouncing me off anyway I was out catching Pokemans and I just scored a level 34, which means I had accumulated 1 million points in one session. And that the previous session I had to do 750,000, and then I, one before that 500,000, and then 200,000 before that. My next one is one and a quarter million. And in one day, uh, Actually, yes, the day before yesterday, I did close to 100,000 points in a day. And yesterday I did 70,000 points in a day. I don't know if you realize, but that takes a lot of strategy. You have to have a lot of friends, but these are for like Facebook friends. Like I have 128 people. I don't even know any of them except for my two grandchildren and my son and one other person. The rest of them, I don't know who these people are, but they're from around the world. And I'm out there catching megas. Megas are these super 42,000 point uh, gym raid captains or whatever you want to call them. And you need to assemble a team. You need to like store up really good Pokemon characters and then you battle. And when you win a battle, you get like 10,000 points. Okay, what does this do to an addicted personality? One, you're putting a high achievement person in a world of accumulating points and I'm getting success in every other throw I make, you know, spin my finger and do a curveball with a Pokemon. And I catch these wonderful, mysterious looking characters out there and they're beautifully be illustrated and they're animated and they're they're ready for me to catch and I can catch as many as I want as long as I have pokeballs but the thing is if I don't get free pokeballs I have to pay for them and this is a corporation this is a billion dollar industry this is a major corporation attached to Nintendo Atlantic I think is the name of it that owns the rights to Pokemon Go and literally 50 million people are playing this around the world or have played it or signed up to play it. And they have community days and they have special events and special characters. And the day before yesterday, the, there was a particular Pokemon animal that was spawning, meaning that as I spun the Pokestop and got more free balls and things to throw at the animals to catch them, there's this one animal that was there and I was like powering it up and powering it up, evolving it, it's called. And then there were more of them were spawning. And I spent five hours outside riding my bicycle between three pokey stops. And I'm completely oblivious to traffic and everything else around me. You know, I didn't get run over or anything. 
But Grace Ann has been noticing that I'm in the car going like this. I'm at a pokey raid. I'm like firing my little rays through my Pikachu or whatever it is. You know, my Sparky, my thing that looks like a big bear. You know, oh my gosh, I'm just like having the time of my life and I'm full of joy. And I don't even realize I've cut off my relationship with my wife and my friends. And how does this relate to Enthinkman? Well, it actually relates in many important ways because I need cognitive behavioral therapy now to work with my thinking so that I realize the game is outsmarting my thinking and is enticing me into repetitive behaviors and I'm feeling successful at these behaviors and I am in addiction, you know? So I have an addictive thinking that's related to addictive behavior. Beyond that, I have to run back my thinking and realize the games being played by the Pokemon Corporation to pull me in and keep me pulled in and keep me seduced and in the game itself and as people were telling me in the intervention team it's gambling David you are gambling and you are playing a game endlessly you are ignoring the relationship with real people and real spiritual animals, which I'll get to in another video. And you are doing this, why? Why did you start doing this? Because you were going through radiation therapy and you were in Houston and you get stage four cancer and life was out of control and here was a world you could be in to have a sense of control and to manage all kinds of friend relationships, sending gifts back and forth. And I'm on the, I'm on the, the poking communication last time, texting my, my grandson saying, let's do a trade. I need to do a trade to complete a, an objective for my Pokemon. How do we do a trade? And I'm telling him how to sign on and he's a level 33 and I'm at level 34. And I've got a higher Pokemon level than one of my grandchildren. My other grandchildren is at level 37. My grand, my, my son is at level 30, and I have another son at level 22. So I thought this was relationship building, but it's not. It's like I'm using them to collect more Pokemon points. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not even being ethical. Uh, so I did a drumming thing, a drumming ceremony with my drum and my rattle and my bandana, my shamanic, and I, I went to the spirits, not these Pokemon spirits, but the spirit that I'm in touch with, my inner, my inner divinity, and um, asked the question, should I cut back on Pokemon? Should I eliminate it all together? And basically it was, you better stop this or your marriage is suffering, your friendships are suffering, you're not doing anything career-wise that's exciting, your hobbies are down to zero except for Pokemon. And you can't let this be your whole life, David. And so I had to go into all these different apps related to Pokemon and Pokemon Raid and Poke Home and the rest of them. And uh, I had to turn off all the notifications. I decided to do this myself, turn off all the notifications and not play the game. So I'm in withdrawal from Pokemon. I'm re-entering the real, the realm of the real. And I'm doing okay, but Grace Ann and I actually took a walk together and held hands because I didn't have to be holding this iPhone and tapping it and playing the Pokemon game. And Grace Ann was getting annoyed. Do you hear how annoying that is? So if you have a child or a spouse or a boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, 
hear this noise, it's the sound of addiction.